I am Galway or the emo alphabet girl. Somebody's called me on the internet before. Honestly, the fact that they put emo in front of it just made me be like. I swear I'm not stealing your purse. I'm just putting. No, it you're fine. <laughs> if you want to steal my EpiPen, and my purse, <laughs> like, I got lipstick, my wallet, and an EpiPen. That's really in some. That's what's in your bag. Some receipts for like coffee and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. We've been practicing a lot. Yeah. We're like, hop in the coop. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you do. Yeah. 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 Yo, what's up? I'm Gail, and I'm going to be trying to spell things. Good thing I'm dyslexic. I don't know how I'm going to do. A E S T. Wait, no. A. I have to like. A E S T. H E T I C. We did it. Oh gosh. I mean, I really get inspired specifically by like time periods. Like, I really love at times like 70s, like rockers, or even like kind of more like the 60s vibe. I also really love like loud patterns, and I feel like that was something that was predominantly getting used like in the 60s. Like, I really loved that, and even like specifically some like box dresses and the cuts of that, I really love. And then I also like kind of like a 90s throwback, but also like a good 2000s. And so I kind of get inspired by those and like people that were also kind of icons around those times, and then just kind of do all of that inspiration and I feel like also just looking at I feel like a lot of kids my age don't realize that we're doing things that like our parents did when they were our age you know but we think we're original but like definitely been done before and so just kind of being inspired by those time periods and then also like what is happening now and just kind of doing all of that bus b-u-s-s-i-n-g or or i-n no g bussin right I got it right twice you really got the D's and B's with you, the D, E, B, U, C, K. Ah, no! <laughs> Debunk to the people. Um, I mean, I write my songs. I feel like, I mean, it's not something that I feel like I have to really say a lot just because like I know what I know and that's really the most important thing. But like, I also like, I, I collaborate with people so like I like but I'm a writer on my songs I've seen this so many times on billboards I've seen that word so many times that I should know it is e I ain't gonna cheat <laughs> she doesn't believe in me but I do <laughs> e-u-p-h-o-r-i-a off the top of the brain have you watched Euphoria I Honestly, have yeah. all of it do you have all anything to say about it's one, aesthetically, like, so beautiful. I feel like there's so many art forms that were really specifically, like, thought out. Like, the acting is incredible. I really love the makeup, and I know that was something that was, like, very specifically designed per character. And also the clothing is something that's also very thought out, and the cinematography and the shots and even just, like, specific things that they're talking about that happen in teen and young adult lives. Um, and, yeah, I feel like there's so many art forms in one thing like it's so beautiful because everything's so thought through and you can really tell that with the show I really like Rue actually like um because well I like her when she's like more on like the playful like singing alongside like she's a very likable character and I've definitely just like had people in my life that remind me of Rue so sometimes it can get a little difficult to watch because it's so like in my life and things I've just seen and experienced before, but I also think it's, her character is also telling a very important story. Fuck, F-U-C-K. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> U, wait, unicorn. Okay, U-N-C-I-C-O-R-N, that's so not right. There's no way that's right. It's like, this is bad, but my brain's breaking it down into uni and then corn, so. But then I think it's, I apparently don't know how to spell uni because it's U N I C O R N. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of blacked out on the how I spelled it the first way. <laughs>
J, well, there's two ways to spell John. Yeah. I feel like it could be J O N or J O H N. <laughs> am I dumb? Am I dumb? I remember we were talking about like, oh, that John. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm literally like J O N, duh. <laughs> like, I'm so smart, I know both ways to spell it. I'm just gonna spell this completely in Z A J A K L Z Y M L M N O P. Period. Period. P E. Wait. I love how, like, serious I'm taking this. Okay. P E R I O D T. Period. Period. <laughs> At the A, B, C, D, E, the F, and the U. So, I did it. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for watching through the whole video of me spelling things terribly. And I appreciate you.